Hi everybody, it's it's been a minute. I I know I've had made a video in a long time. A lot of things have been between three years to now. Um and I was thinking of making a YouTube video on like where I've been in the last three years and catching up with my personal mental health, but I will just I decided to save that video for another time. Um, and today's such a nice sunny day, so I figured do a handbag collection. Right, I'll start off with honorable mentions slash bags. I haven't used it slash bags I brought, but after I bought them, I'm still on the fence. If I want to use them or not? So I'll start off with this little bag market that I got from Saviors and Footstray. It's a cute like work bag, I'd say. I'm still kind of, I don't know if I want to use it or like, g donate at all. Um, I don't know, just I'm still in the air with this bag. Let's put that here. Um, bag number two, this cute little thing. This cute little date bag. Perfect. If you're going out for drinks with the girls or if you're... And I can't open this bag. If you're going to your man, keep your triplets. The strap. Next on my list that I want to fit this boy. This gigantic, sexy, sexy beach bag, which I, again from Savers. Haven't used it yet, brought it like a month ago, but I haven't used it. I don't know why. I haven't found the right outfit. Anyways, this is like another one. Which I'm, if I'm on the fence with. If anyone's interested in these in the honorable mentions bag, DM me and I might sell it to you for half the price. That's another one. Ah Saw this cute little Bohemian number as well in the savers. And it's just a cute crossbody bohemian vibe. If you're brunching with the girls, if you're um, just out and about on Sunday or Saturday, just a cute little nugget. Oh yes, it's it doesn't have a zipper, which is quite annoying. Just open up like this and close it like this. My personal favorite out of all of them in the other mentions. Is this cute little nugget? How cute is this? Little crossbody, but you put it through your arm like this. Ugh, up. Like that. Perfect for your picnic day. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna keep that one actually. Ugh. And then, so at my workplace, the lady that I work for. She's known my family. She's known my mom for like 20 something years. So I've known her for 20 something years. Um, and she, my mom gave her some handbags a while, 20 some years ago. And then funny enough, she gave them back to me. She's like, you look good with these bags, but, um, I don't know. It is quite Y2K vibes, as you can see. I don't know where my mom got this from actually, so don't ask me where my mother got this. The brand is Juice, I think. Yeah. Denim. Then this other one that she also gave my boss. This cute little black nugget. Again, very Y2K. The designer is Peter Beasley. Yes. Very, very nice. But I'm still, I don't know, I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Move on to other bags. Okay, so oh, be careful. Um, this was like my very first bag I brought this year from my neighbors from Kmart in all places. I I need this for work, for everyday use, for going to music festival because you can't carry a big bag. It's too small. Next on my list, um, I'll go through this. Oh. 
I got this little nugget from Bendy going on op shop for like five dollars. It's from Top Shop. Love bag. It's a perfect bag. You can carry it like this. I can get it up. Or cross body like this. I love the red. I just love the red. Okay, next on the list. This one. Ooh, I'm full with you guys. Okay. This like mat and nat cross body bag with my mom. I saw it like laying around like laying around her and my mom's room and I was like, this is cute. Cute little like everyday crossbody. The brown is on. I don't have any brown bags, so I like get this one. It's a cute little bag. Um, what's next? Oh how precious. This cute little nugget that I got in the Bendigo as well, in an op shop. And that's really noisy. As you can see, I still haven't used the tag price still on there. It's a cute little like date bag. It's adorable. Another one, another cute little date bag from the same shop in Bendigo. Is this? And again, again, there's a price tag on it. Ah, it's a cute little nugget. Okay, let's get into the fun bag. So now these. Oh my god. I'm not honorable mentions, these are like bags I do like. Like wooden like news and stuff, I think. Okay, starting off strong, where would I go first? With I'll start off with this. If you're looking for bag of the summer and something that's like in trend, I wanna say summer I means Australian summer. From Con on right here, right now, ladies and gays. This cute denim crossbody. I had to have it. There was four colours, it was like white, black, green. And denim, I was like, look, the denim, such a vibe. So I brought this crossbody nugget. Oh, I've used it so many times. Then my next bag, this cute, ah, this cute hot pink bag, which looks very feminine, but. The strap, look at that, the contrasting, the darkness. So it's, it's like, it's quite, it's a combo between masculine and feminine. So it has that kind of vibe where it's like, it's not too girly, but it's not too ma manly, which I quite like. Oh, this, this one's also, this came from this year in uh, Kmart. So again, bag for the summer. If you're looking for that summery bag, trendy number, I can not, what is that? Uh, my favorite, my, one of my favorite. It's a cute little clutch. I got from an op shop. You hand through like that. Again, a perfect night out with your girls, with your man, whatever. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The only thing I would say about it is there is no zipper. So be extra mindful. It's just a little button thingy to clip up. It's cute. I love this little bad boy. Next up, oh, this is one of my favorite pictures I brought this year from T T TK Maxx, which is like our Australian version of TJ Maxx. Steve Madden, it is a sexy thing. I love this bag right here. Love it. There's no zipper, which is really annoying. There's two compartments. So I always put like my phone, my AirPods, my car keys, car keys in here. Then I put like my lip balm. What else I put in here? That's um, my, oh, my, my portable phone charger, my, uh, my, my, uh, earphones, the wide ones in there, cute and sexy, and it's like a good everyday bag, it's a good, like, just everyday bag. Next up, I haven't used this one, but I got this at Maya, um, recently it was on sale, it was like, for $29, I was like, what a steal. Very scary spice, I'm all well aware of. Yes, scary spice. But I brought it and it does come. Oh my god. With a strap. 
But I didn't want to put the strap on the bag because I've got one way too many crossbody bags. I was like, I want something that's like so different to the others. Because I feel like we use the same stuff every day or similar stuff. It just gets boring and like outdated. Cute little like lunchbox. Like again, perfect for date night, for girls, solo date, whatever. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. This is one of my favorite gems of this year. Need I say more? This cute Zara bag. I don't know if it's still. I bought the last one in the CBD in Melbourne, but I don't know if it's still available in stores. Maybe check online, but it's a cute look, little bag. And it may not um, zip, but it has like the tying thing like this. I love this bag. It fits everything. And I mean, I put my portable phone charger, my, my wallet, my. What else is in here? House keys, car keys, lip, like ev everything you can imagine. It's like Mary Poppins in a nutshell. And it also comes with a crossbody strap. But again, don't want to use the strap because, like, on like a different, like, unusual per se, but it's a cute little bag. Okay, moving on. Moving again, bag of the summer. Ladies and gays, this cute little HM bag for 40 bucks. I saw it at Chadston and H&M Chadston and I was like, I had to have it. There was a white one and a black one. I got the white, because it's white, I don't need a white bag, so you can see. The, so cute. And it kind of looks like a Balenciaga, like, city bag, like a mini version of it. So I kind of love it. It's crossbody. Down there. Next. Oh, my aunt brought me this cute little orange number. It was for, it was on sale for, like, members of the family, so she got it for, like, Half the price. She's like, I'll put you a little gift, Patty. It's a cute little orange number. Again, comes with oh my god, with everything today. A little strap. But again, I just don't want to use a strap. Like, I want to, I want to make it look different. But look at the handles. Look at the detailed handles, you guys. Look at that. Very detailed. Okay, I haven't used it yet, but I wouldn't use it. Um. At some point, when I'm going on a date, or I'm going out with the girls, or like a drink, or like stay out. And then, what else do I have? <laughs> I brought this gem recently on Thursday, again in TK Maxx. I just realized I didn't mention all the shops I got my bags from. My bad. Um, this cute little nugget in TK Maxx. Oh, it's like a camping bag. How cute! <laughs> Again, I haven't had a chance to use it obviously, but it's a cute little it comes with this and then I like the bag of this these attachable things to it, but like new trend these days. Again, Steve Madden. Steve Madden makes good bags. How cute is this? Definitely gonna use it on uh, at some point in my life. Um, where are you? This one I've got from Zara, this cute this is actually a men's bag. I've got the men's section. Cute bowling size bag. I haven't used it yet, actually. I have not used this bag. Anyways, it has a crossbody strap, but I, I love I prefer the handle going through like this. It shows the bag more. So it was 80 bucks. I was like, I have to have this. It was like only, there was only two left. So I was like, I have to buy it. Look, now or never. I, I, a wise woman once meant said to me, if you don't buy the bag, what or whatever product you buy now, someone else will buy it. So it's better if you buy it on the spot, otherwise you will, Forever regret not buying it, so I have to buy this. Necessities. If my mom was watching this, I'm so sorry, mom, for spending all my money on like bags. Uh, uh, oh, if I can reach. I got this cute little bag from a Retro Star in Next to Flinders, and I haven't used it yet, but it's so. What I like to it's different, it's unusual, it's so vintage, so I could like wear it when I feel like I'm doing a vintage mood, a mood, sorry. So this cute little, it has a perfect <coughs> strap, very vintage. It's, it's almost giving Indiana Jones vibes, like, you know, I'm on the hunt to find some good, you know, man or, you know, a rich husband. It's a cute little bag, isn't it? And, okay, now, the fun bags. Okay, the bag I'm currently using. TK Maxx! I got this from TK Maxx. It, there was only four left. I At first, I was like, should I get it or should I not get it? Should I just like walk away? But then a while ago, about three months ago, I saw a blue one of this 
in another TK Maxx in Springvale, I was like, I regret not buying that one, but then I saw the white one and I was like, I had, and I had to have this. How good is this little nugget? He's going to be my new traveling bag. So if I ever go international waters, there's a zip compartment which brings everything perfect. Big and bulky, put uh, my documentation, whatever, whatever jazz. In there! And then, uh, this. This, 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 just this. My favorite, my, my guest bag. Which I got from Maya. It was the last one from the sale. It was like marked down from like. 200, 190, 200. I was like, I had to have it. Last one, on the spot. Not too sure if this particular model is still available. Go on Google and have a look, ladies. But like, holy, it's a good like work bag, a good travel bag. It's a good bag. Ugh, and this gem that my mom gave me. This cute little yellow nugget. I kind of snuck into my mom's closet. Because I wanted to see if she has any good handbags she wasn't using, and she's got a few, and I, this is like one of them. It's a cute little yellow number. The reason why it looks big and bulky is because I put this like paper that I put in the other bag. Just to like keep the back, it's like it's shape per se, because like otherwise you're gonna lose its shape and it's not gonna look good, but like how cute is this? Like this is like I want to feel like a bougie, bougie person. This is my bag. And then of course, what well, Another honorable mention, what my first ever designer handbag was a Marc Jacobs tote bag, like a small one. But I knew deep down I wanted a medium size one, so I, my, and my mom actually did ask me the first time, she said, if you're not using the bag, or you're done using the bag, could I have the Marc Jacobs tote bag? So last weekend I decided um, I'm not going to use it, um, I want to save up get the medium size one, so I decided to give her my what, small one. So I'm hoping that she's taking care of it like I did, but she, I think she's into work for everyday news. So I'm, 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 uh, I'm happy with that. But yeah, and then last but not least, my friends and family know my baby. Will I ever need a husband? Will I ever need a boyfriend? No. Will I ever need? I don't know. I just, I don't need anything else right now. Except for a Birkin. That's like my dream bag. But that's an, that's another story. I love you. And um, that's my collection of my handbags. Comment in the section if you like any of the bags. Comment in the section. Share with me your bag. Share with me where you got your bags from. Doesn't matter if it's designer or not designer or what, whatever. Like, some of my bags aren't even designer, but yeah, they're so good looking. Um, uh, yes. Uh, and of course, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will actually decide. I've decided. To come out of semi-retirement, to come back and make videos again. I miss talking to everybody. I miss sharing life stories with you guys, and I want to hear your life stories too. So, yes, let's keep in touch, shall we? All right, bye guys. Have a nice afternoon.